What's up guys, it's Hotdive7RCT bringing you another video for you guys today we're gonna be talking in this uh, new unfiltered about the Nintendo Direct that just recently pla passed by um, after following uh, through with the mini direct that happened also a while back um, there was a lot of expectations and um, many people were kind of like trying to figure out what the hell was Nintendo going to show during this direct uh, and I'm here to give my two cents on the whole matter um, on the aftermath basically because it's not so much about that Nintendo direct but how people reacted to the whole deal afterwards now of course we need to take into consideration that it is the second year of the Switch. The Switch has been extremely successful during its debut year, which was 2017. And of course, um, 2018, for some reason, started out a bit slow compared to what we had on 2017. So having a Nintendo Direct, which is basically the lifeline of any kind of news, updates, or whatever, when it comes to the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo products in general, it always builds some kind of hype, it always builds a lot of speculation, it always builds fanboys and haters coming to just, you know, either um, hype something up or criticize it or hate it or whatever. That being said, we had, like I mentioned before, the Nintendo Direct Mini, which gave us uh, a few tidbits here and there, nothing too spectacular at least in my opinion, but we did get a, a catch a glimpse at, as um, on titles such as uh, Dark Souls and some other nice cool stuff that came out that we weren't expecting. Now with this one, just like the mini that came before, this one was not highly um, advertised. It was basically just like in the same week that it was going to come out. Uh, first it was leaked and then it just came out almost immediately after now what did we see well there was a couple of things that, that we got to see but mainly at least in my opinion mainly out of everything because it, it's kind of funny in a way because before the actual direct happened I started seeing this barrage of um, third party specifically third party um, companies coming out and just you know, releasing like info information on on titles that were coming out for the Switch, and that was kind of cool. To be honest, I got actually more excited for those titles than many other titles that were shown on the Nintendo Direct. Um, mainly titles like uh, what was it? Um, the beat 'em up that's uh, Princess. I forgot. I forgot the name of it. But anyways, there's a beat 'em up. I saw uh, shoot 'em ups. I saw some other titles that were kind of iffy, but they actually went for it and, and released and released information on it. So I had a couple of games that I was already geeking out with um, going into the Nintendo Direct. And as I sat down there watching the Direct, I started seeing you know the the main titles that they had already mentioned. Um, the 3DS at this point I really didn't pay much attention I just wanted to see the, the, the Switch stuff we did get actually um, a little bit more in terms of the game running already um, the Dark Souls Remastered which by the way it looks absolutely fantastic more than I was um, actually expecting because I'm trying to keep I'm trying to temper my expectations when it comes to and this being a Nintendo fan from a long time when it comes to uh, graphics and stuff because I know what they're working with so I don't set like very high unless it's a first party effort or second party effort from Nintendo themselves there's no excuses there because they're gonna take absolutely everything that the machine can offer and squeeze out everything that they can um, however let me go back as you can see uh, in the background that I have here the two major things, at least for me, that happened during this Direct was, of course, the reveal at the end of Smash 
and of course um, Octopath Traveler which um, by the way this for you sweetie Afro Soul uh, she is going absolutely berserk over this title she wants the collectors and let me tell you it's not even it's not it's not isolated to her I'm seeing a lot of um, trend um, lately after quickly after the direct where many couples or many people are expressing that many ladies lady gamers are actually super stoked for this title to come out um, so it's a really nice little thing that's going on and you know girl gamers lady gamers you know you're awesome so you can appreciate quality and this to me is very very high quality so and it's of course it's an exclusive for the switch and everything that they've shown so far everything from the demo to the um, to the uh, survey that they that they performed which was kind of nice and uh, the developers basically responded to the people who actually participated in the survey it was a nice little dynamic going on there which harkens back to the days of development how it was before it was more you know even without the internet or and in full throttle or and relying basically on magazines and stuff like that at the time it felt more like the developers were more connected to the gamers you know they were trying to be more symbiotic in in terms of relationship now everything is so fucking corporate and everything is just you know how much money I can get out of you that you know that that kind of thing is is lost but that's a theme for another unfiltered uh, one of these days so wait for that later um, but going back to this uh, smash that's project um, Octopath Traveler which to me is one of the highlights from this direct that and Dark Souls and of course I have to mention because both of these titles I'm gonna mention now I will pick up um, they are however also on other platforms but it's nice to see these kind of games on the switch one of course is the crash bandicoot uh, trilogy and of course uh, the other one being the south park game which i was hoping from the very beginning that it would release on the switch but i was starting to lose hope because you know the time has already passed and whatever but we got it we're gonna get it and we're gonna get it in the next few months which is awesome special mention <laughs> before i get into the smash thing special mention that needs to be uh, set at least for me uh, being an anime fan as well manga fan uh, Attack on Titan 2 on the switch it looks amazing and of course one that it's not really a high-profile title but I really have to thanks um, ba I have to thank Bandai Namco for doing it the Naruto trilogy on the switch this is gonna be crazy I mean we get all three games Albeit it's old games, okay, fine, you know, why beat a dead horse? But that third game, I didn't get to play it, so I'm stoked that I'm going to have not only that one, but the whole collection on one card. I mean, I haven't seen any details if you need to download uh, any of the titles, if it's actually going to have the three titles on one card. But that's amazing, because if it does really happen, and we do get the three titles on all... Um, on one cart, that w what it means is that actually Bandai Namco and hopefully other third parties will follow suit are taking a little bit more of a gamble on higher um, capacity cartridges because it's going to fill it up. I mean, you're going to have to at least go with 16 gigs or more if you're going to squeeze in all those titles. But let's go back to the elephant in the room. The whole uh, game busters that the uh, internet went on super nerd mode when we saw the reveal of Smash. Now, this is another subject in itself because, of course, after that came out, we saw a barrage of um, these videos uh, where you get like the reaction videos, the reaction videos, and everybody wanted to have a reaction video. I was surprised. But in a way, it made sense to me that they have this announcement because if you look back, every single announcement that has been made, that was made during 2017, 
the argument that all the haters would have is, yeah, but we're Smash. Yeah, but we're Smash. You know, it's like they couldn't find anything, any holes in the armor of the Switch coming out because they were doing everything right, that they needed something, some kind of excuse. So, of course, there you have it. Now we do have Smash. Now, from this point on, it's a matter of discussing or debating. Is it going to be a new one? Is it going to be an old one? Is it going to be a port? Is it going to be the fresh? You know, to me, in my opinion, my humble opinion, it makes more sense because I'm not going to raise my expectations so high and then be disappointed. Let's be realistic about this. Let's let's see both sides. To me, I believe that it should be within reasonable you know, margins, it should be a port. Why? Because it makes more sense business-wise. It's easier to add more content to this already established game from the Wii U, add more characters, add more stages, more, um, I don't know, modes or something like that, and beef it up. Just look at what happened with Mario Kart 8. Why start from scratch? Uh, I would love it if it were a new Smash, of course. But you have to take into account that this one, look what happened with uh, Sakurai-san. Um, he went into this large, very long development cycle with the Smash on Wii U, and there were even uh, news about him being a little sick and having problems with, with his arm or something like that, that he needed a break. I can't imagine what kind of rush mode or crunch mode would they have to go into to make this releasing right now, like the next year of the Switch release, a brand new, you know, Smash. If it happens, it happens. Hey, I'm going to be all over it regardless if it's a port or if it's a new one. But I'm just saying to you guys out there, don't hold this against them because that's when they're going to start. If they say in the end that it's going to be a port, there's going to be a whole bunch of crybabies going out there Oh, they ended up being poor. Oh, that's lazy. Just wait for it. And that's basically it, guys. I mean, that's my, at least my two cents on the whole ordeal. I feel very happy because there's a, a, a couple of points here before I end this video. And number one, at least these are the takes that I get from the video. Um, number one is that they shown their cards basically up to July. With the exception of Smash, which doesn't have a date, a concrete date, it's, we know it's going to release this year, but they haven't shown anything that goes beyond July all the way up to holidays and stuff. So that bodes very well for E3 and everything upcoming to E3 and afterwards. So we're going to have a whole bunch of cool games, third party and, and first party as well, because Kirby, I'm going to be all over that as well. We're going to be set to have really good games for the Switch right up until the half of the year and a bit further. Whatever else, my main title, the one that I'm waiting for the most, my most anticipated game is Metroid. And especially with the whole thing going on that, oh, who's developing? Retro is not developing it, so Bandai Namco is developing, but then they switch around and say, no, it's not Namco. We still don't know anything about this title. And we, especially me, am super stoked and crazy to see any kind of gameplay, gameplay um, footage of it. So let's see what happens. Anything can happen. I, I ho I'm hoping that E3 is the place where we're going to get to see this title um, for the very first time. So that, Smash, all the, the eSports stuff that's going to be coming out of that. Splatoon, special mention to Splatoon. And the added single player mode that, that looks absolutely crazy. I did not know I was going to get so hooked on Splatoon. But I, I have and I am. And I'm still going back to it on a regular basis. So yeah. Um, that's basically what I have for you guys here uh, for the Unfiltered. If you guys have anything else that you would like to add. Or that you feel that I missed out on uh, mentioning about this direct please leave a comment down below i'm gonna see you guys very soon i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and if you don't if you didn't like it too much 
um, at the very least share the video so I can get you know a little bit of help from from that side small youtuber here just trying to make it and as long as you guys like this content I'm gonna keep on doing it so take care guys see you next time peace